What is saying? What is saying, Zach? How you guys doing today? Praise the Lord, Saints. We're right here with another one, and I ain't talking about like DJ Khaled. We about to go in. It was a long day and a long night, but hey, no matter what, we still got to do the will of God in Jesus' name. Hopefully, you guys over there just you know had a great day. If y'all didn't, y'all just on a bad moment tip. Hey. You know how it go. We just got to keep doing our part, you know, and um, got to just, you know, it's wonderful regardless, man. I'm going to just say one thing that, you know, like God is good. I just say that God is great. Good is average. Good is like when you go to the homie house and be like, hey, bro, can I get a glass of water? I'll be like, nah, I'm good. You know, but we're here, man. We're just going to wait for a little bit. Hermanos, que el Señor les bendiga. Espero que hayan tenido una buena noche. Hoy fue un día muy largo, pero alabado sea Jesús. You know, hay que darle gracias porque tenemos otro día de vida. Y el um, Señor se sigue moviendo grande en nuestras vidas, en todos, you know. Ya sabemos que viene la ira de Jehová por pronto, in the name of Jesus. We just got to stay cheered up, you know, stay ready. And today's word is going to be... Um, it's gonna be fun, man. What? Hey, how you doing? Oh, so, hey, solo slim. What's up with Broski? It says, I don't know about you to drop that great message. What's good, bro? I know you about. Oh, we always do, bro. The Lord was on me, Brody. He was like, man, we need. We, church is playing. We see a lot of people play church, bro, like they're at recess. That's what the Lord was telling me today. And I'm like, wow, like, like, don't get me wrong. We have to look at the kingdom like a child, but they play church like is that like we're at Reese's, bro. Like you got the popular, you know how we at Reese's when we was kids. You feel me? Like you got uh, one person here. You got the cool kids. Then you got the bullies. And then you got like, and then you got the popular. You got, you know how I was like, man, we... Uh, man, it's today mainstream Christianity. It's like we at Reese's, man. I'm like, wow, Lord. That's how you get at me, Jesus. That's how you feel. I'm like, man, I'm like, it's too much division in the church. Definitely it is, man. It's like, man, if you guys look at social media, bro, they have the he, see versus who and this and that. And, and that's what is sad about the church. They try to debunk people instead of helping each other. Like, you know, we all make mistakes, brothers. And and he was just like, man, a lot of these. So a lot of these people are are playing church, brothers. We know that we're not really to focus. We have the discernment of the Holy Spirit. Now they get in, into that little uh, Easter, little traditions of man. Brothers, yeah, we know that Jesus died for us. Yeah, we do know that. Yes, we do know that uh, on uh, whether it. We know Easter, whether it's on a pagan day and all that. Y'all want to all of a sudden don't eat me for uh, the Catholic. You sin all whatever we sin. Ain't nobody. Well, you know, I'm a sinner. But all of a sudden you want to abstain from alcohol, from fornication, and then go live a foul, wicked life. Bro, you got to We got to stop playing with the Lord. And he was telling me this, man. And it was a powerful message that one of the brothers gave yesterday. And it's always good to get that conviction in us to keep us on point. He was like, a lot of people call them Judases and they blame Judas. We're not defending Judas where he, they was wrong and, and all of that. He betrayed our, our, our Messiah. But sometimes ourselves act like Judas. You feel me? What do, what do I mean by act like Judas? We turn our back on the Lord. You know, we can't be playing with the Lord. I understand that we're going to make mistakes. And I took it from my personal life. I'm like, ooh, you know, uh, how, how we be acting like Judas, either we break promises or we're we're doing something foul that we shouldn't be doing. And, and it's glory to God. You you know, God is love. Yes. But God, God is also a, a, a rat, a God of fire. A God of wrath. We can't be playing with the Lord. We can't be in and out. Have one foot in the gate and have another foot out the gate. I've done it. 
I'm telling you, I done it. I was uh, um we this this is a lie of the devil. Uh we was uh made uh, uh from the ground, so he put it here for me to go out, brother. That was a lie. Definitely sent us to hell. That uh, uh once once saved, we're always say the devil's a lie, brothers. Salvation is on the daily, brothers and sisters. We're, it's like we're walking on ice. To do God's will is super hard, but it's a blessing though. It, 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 like we are in love with the Lord, man. There's nothing of the world. Honestly, we, us, we come so deep in truth and in following the Lord that we will never look back to the world. We know what it is there for us. We, some of us been through jail. Some of us been through abusive relationships. Some of us been, um, uh, um, spiritually bully, but you came to a self-realization that you ready to really now carry that cross. There's going to be people that are going to rise up against you, especially we know that when you are really, really consecrated and really living set apart. Holiness, holiness is the only way, brothers and sisters, and this and holiness and righteousness is the hardest thing to do. That's why a lot of people are not going to make it to heaven. That's on the real, brothers. I'm telling you. Like, two or three are like us, brothers and sisters. We are we are in this together. We're here to uh, don't play church. We're here not to be at Reese's like it's church. There is so many, there is so much division in the so-called ministry of the body of Christ. They, they claim to be ministers, but in reality, they're living sinister. They're living in, they go to uh, to cults or, or it's like they're in a cult. You, that's what church is. They follow traditions of man and, and they go back and forward and, and, and they try to uh, play fencing, bro. It's like, you ever play, play fencing, brothers? It's like, sh 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 scripture with scripture. Who is wrong and who is right? We're all wrong. And the only one that's really right, his name is Jesus Christ. You feel me? C clicks in the church. So true clicks in the church. Yeah, they got clicks. They got the, now it's crazy, right? It's like the Lord was telling me this, like Samuel, like a lot of people playing Reese's. We're grown, man. I, don't get me wrong. I, I, I got a great sense of humor. I'm always going to be a child, but maturity and faith is two different things. You know, uh, and, and a lot of people are really, really coveting your anointings and really plotting to see your destruction. You know how many people watch our, we have haters, brothers. We just started this channel, but you know how many people watch our channel that we got a lot, but they don't show no love and no support, but glory to God. Just like they did, just like they did Jesus, you know, they're going to do that to us. You know, but glory to God, we, we got to just be a ripple effect of testimony in Jesus name. Does this walk hurt? Absolutely. It does. Is it going to be easy? No, it's not. Is it going to be times as we draw closer to the Lord? Yes. The battles will get easier. Now I have a scripture that's coming out of Psalm 7, 11. It says, God judges the righteous and God is angry with the wicked every day. That all that come to me as I am, the devil's a lie. That's a form of, of a demonic false teachings in the church. Oh, that, oh the Lord knows who I am. Oh, oh, I'm a homosexual. Oh, ain't nobody, ain't nobody bringing them down. You know, we're supposed to be amongst them, yes, but come out from amongst them, like I was sharing that, by the way we live, by the way we conduct and we go govern ourselves, children, queens, and kings of the Most High. You feel me? Know that these witches and warlocks are going to rise up against us, but you know what? Glory to God. We have to counterattack that back with love. And keep a separation amongst them. God judges the righteous. He judges us. Yes, he do. Yes, we can repent. But there are still consequences that comes with our disobedience. Not only that, we have the fear of the Lord, which is God, which is respecting the Torah and the teachings of, of our Lord. You feel me? But the fear of the world is so totally different. They're already building underground bunkers. 
which you know only only people that are in fear of of what's going around the world is is they're they're gonna get paranoid they're gonna be they're not really up to the lord there is a lot of people in the church that are living in paranoia because they really have no jesus in them they have a form don't get me wrong brothers and sisters we all make mistakes yeah but where is our growth no one thing that the 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 Lord is going to judge us, brothers and sisters, by our lifestyle when we go to heaven. And a lot of people that we think ain't going to make it to heaven, that's going to make it to heaven, ain't going to make it to heaven. That's what we supp the last shall be first and the first shall be last. We have to live our lives like last. Put everything of the world last. There is levels to this brothers and sisters once we are dead to the world as much as we could be and try to subject and crucify our flesh the easier the battle are going to get there's going to be levels there's going to be times we know that the enemy is going to um is going to try to distract us it's going to try to whatever is do your old girlfriends might come right back kissing at you you know, or, or your old boyfriend, hey, going to act like Miss Parker on Friday. And they go, Smokey the devil. A lot of your friends are going to start hitting you what? At once, brothers, one, bro, we, we got to block them out. We got to run away from sin, brothers and sisters, because you already come, and you already deep in the Lord. Don't get me wrong, brothers and sisters. We're going to make mistakes. We're human beings. But don't fall backwards, but fall forward and keep it moving. Keep it, you know, like JC said, oh, if you, you know, knock the dirt off your shoulders, you know, but in faith, the devil's a lie. We know, but I'm just using it as a mer metaphoric expression. Knock your shoulders off because the, the one thing in the church, brothers and sisters, they're just looking at you. Sprint forward in Jesus name. Fall forward and keep sprinting forward in Jesus name. When, you know what? When, when we're going to grieve the Holy Spirit at times because, but as we draw closer to, to the Lord, the, our mistakes will dwindle. It will diminish because we are seeking after the things of the spirit that flees, that flat, that feeds our spirit and reproaches the flesh. You feel me? So we have to question who do we be around we have to start doing a self inventory in ourselves always ourselves but why is this person trying to hit me up why is her purpose don't deviate of your purpose brothers and sisters don't digress the blessing and postpone it because we do that sometimes and sometimes brothers not sometimes that's what a lot of the prayers take a long time to get answered because we like like I share either his answer is no or or we did something unto the Lord that he didn't like. And you got to understand, brothers and sisters, that when we pray, there's some our messenger that carry an angel of the Lord that carries that message up to the second heaven. You feel me? And, and we know that we battle against high principalities in high places. So the devil it operates in the skies, in the second skies, in space. But in order for us to break through, that angel has to carry our prayer unto the Lord to see if, he, or if we're even a little bit worthy to get our prayers answered. The Lord understands that we're going to make mistakes, but he's searching our heart. You feel me? He's like, you know what? I'm going to bless this brother, this sister on her job because she's been putting effort, because she's been trying to seek the Lord. She's been going through a tough season, tough times. My brothers, it's time to let it pour. Boom. But you're going to be blessed. You're going to you're going to know what it took to get that blessing because the Lord will not give you that blessing if it's going to deviate you from your will and from doing God's will and from doing your purpose in the Lord. Working on your on the gifts and the talents the Lord get, given us to bring people to the kingdom. That's our jobs. 
We all have the spirit of evangelism, which is the fruits of the spirit to encourage each other, to enlighten each other. And don't play racist like we at church. I'm telling you, it's so much division and it's going to keep getting worse on the real. Sorry about that. The enemy is very infiltrated in the church. It comes within ourselves. You feel me? They are so paganized in the church. There are literally um, people preaching with demons all up in the church. You feel me? But you know one thing? We know the truth. You know, you we are threats unto, unto these so-called ministers. Not everyone, brothers and sisters, claim to be. I'm not going to say Christian is trash. It's garbage. It's not even about I'm a Christian. I'm a seven day uh, a dentist. I'm a, a children of Israel and all of that. All of, Bro, they preaching all these fake apostasies of false devil. Who cares if we're the children of Israel? Brothers, not everyone is the children of Israel. And even, even in order for you to be a legitimate child and children of the Lord, you have to live in righteousness and be consecrated apart. It sounds like a supremacy movement, in my opinion, on the children of Israel. Everybody questioning, I'm an Israelite. I'm this and that and the third, bro. That is not about to get you to heaven. So what will we are? It's about, are we really trying to seek the Lord? Are we really consecrated and set apart? Or are we just racist? Or we're just like politicians? Uh, are we are over here claiming to be this and that and the third? It doesn't matter. Sin is sin on the real. You feel me? God judges the righteous. Every and God judges the righteous according to how we live, brothers and sisters. He has love and mercy. God is a God of love and mercy, but He's also consuming fire, brothers and sisters. We could read that in the book of Revelations, chapter sixteen, verse fourteen. It reads, "For there are the spirits of devils working miracles." which go forward unto the kings of the earth and of the whole world to gather them to the battle of great day of God Almighty. There is so many fake devils that seems like they are really anointed, but they're really operating under witchcraft. They're really, they throw one scripture, roll with it, and put it in the, in the blender like this, brothers and sisters. Put it in the blender, in the juicer, and drink it. And tell you that I, I, I went to the red. They grab wines, go smash it in the restroom, put water on it, and tell you it's Italian wine. That's how the devil is. You feel me? For there are spirits of devils working miracles, which go forward unto the kings of the earth. The gov. What are the kings? The rulers. The the people with high positions in and out the body of Christ. In and out. And, and, and whatever governmental powers within the church. See, we got to understand, brothers and sisters, that Christianity or, or any type of religious uh, um, corporation, because what that's what the majority are. They're cor corporations and they don't pay no taxes. So in reality, they monopolize and and, and monopolize and profit the gospel and pimping and pandering like they have to swap me. That's what they do. And they don't like people like me and you when we expose these witches and warlocks. No, no one thing that they're going to try to rise up against the truth. It's not my truth. It's not your truth. It's the truth, the only gospel, the truth, the way, and the light, which is Jesus Christ. And that's why we will never be alike and we will never agree unto the fake doctrines and fake up teachings of the enemy. The devil's a lie. You feel me? Remember, in this race, brothers and sisters, it's going to be a lot of segregation within the body of, of Christ. That's what they can't stand people like me and you at the market because our light that we have in us is make people uncomfortable. It's the demons that they carry. These witches are our, our warlocks going down. Amen in Jesus name. For there are spirit of devils working miracles. That's Revelation 16. It says, behold, I come as a thief. Blessed is he. 
that watch and keep this garment, the garment, excuse me, the garment of salvation, the garments, the full armory of God, lest he walk naked and they see his shame. Behold, I come. He comes as a thief, bro, sister, homegirl. Within one blink of a night, it's over. It could be over right now, brothers and sisters, when we go to sleep. As we, we don't even, we don't know, brothers and sisters. We we are, are so used to living that we never really think that we're ever going to die. One day is going to be over. And every time we heard the gospel of salvation, and whether it was your mother, your grandpappy, pappy, whoever it was, doesn't matter. The day you go to meet the creator, you're going to be petrified. You're going to be in hell burning each and every day. Wish that you were repenting. Wish that you would have got another chance. It's never too late, no matter how old you are. But you keep... Thinking that we're crazy, that there is no God, that's the biggest deception of the enemy. The devil's a lie in Jesus' name. And they're listening right now, and we rebuke every single spirit of witchcraft in the name of Jesus. Any spirit of confusion, of division, we cast it out in the name of Jesus. That's why they be shadow banding this channel a lot. And we just started, but we're never going to stop. And I thank God for YouTube for doing this work, you know, and, and, and glory to God. The devil's alive, Father, in Jesus name. May you protect all the saints, Father God, that um, these witches and warlock and these monitoring spirits trying to devise against us. May you put warring angels in the name of Jesus, each and every one of us that really got to do your work in Jesus name. To destroy these fake churches. To destroy, Father God, these fake teachings in Jesus' name. To preach the real gospel of salvation in Jesus' name. Whether we have to go at it alone, so what? Jesus was geeing it up by himself in Jesus' name with his apostles. If we have to go through this narrow road alone, glory to God. Persecution come, glory to God. You feel me? Now, it says, And he gathered them together into a place called in the Hebrew tongue Armageddon. A lot of people don't think that God finna come. We, a lot of people already know the drill. We know the truth. But God is around the corner. Whether it could be 30, 40 years from now, it doesn't matter. But if we keep playing church, if we keep playing recess at church, oh, you finna get we finna get broken down like a Kit Kat bar. And we finna get a rude awakening. Wrath is coming in Jesus' name. We know that. But also, Psalms 141, let the wicked fall into their own nets. Whilst thou I will ooh, escape. Yes. There are ooh, let the wicked fall into their own nets. That's what they do, brothers and sisters. It always backfire on them. How many of the wicked of these two-faced haters wish destruction on us? And right now, some of them are listening right now and they're mad that the Lord is placing a table in our enemies as stepping stones in Jesus' name to keep elevating and keep pushing this beautiful gospel that Jesus told us to do. And only the courageous ones like me and you are willing to take that. Whatever it comes. In Jesus name. Alabado sea Jesús. Porque estamos viviendo unos tiempos de apostesía en el nombre de Jesús. So hay que dejar de, de jugar recreo en la iglesia. Porque hay mucha división y mucha competencia. So we got to stop playing with the Lord. And the Lord finna start plugging out the wicked. It's like beans brothers. When our grandma and mom is cooking. And removing the rocks from the beam. That's what the Lord finna do inside the church. He finna start removing these trash. These garbage. So-called Christians. Up out of these churches. And, and, and the only God say. That full-fledged war. Amen. We declare war on these witches and warlocks. That's what the Lord cho chose us. And chose his MVPs. Most valuable praisers. 
most valuable, most valuable prayer warriors in Jesus' name. We're not playing no games, but we had to go through what we had to go through. This would made us so hard, brothers in faith. A lot of us been poisoned. A lot of us been thrown in mental hospitals, you know, thinking we're crazy. Look what happened to John the Revelator. He was casted out into the island of Patmos. You feel me? So blessed be the Lord, my strength, which which teacheth my hands to war and my fingers to fight. Amen. That, that's a beautiful scripture. My, my beloved warrior, you, you feel me? So he's going to come like a thief in the night. You, we, keep, and we keep playing with the Lord and we're going to get burned. Not only are we going to get devastated with diseases inside your soul and out. A lot of these people, brothers and sisters, finna get judged with diseases, with plagues, just like the plagues of Egypt are coming. And that is the pre-tribulation that we're getting ready to experience. It's just the appetizer of God's wrath. God is not one to be mocked. Only a fool. I personally, brothers and sisters, a Christian, so-called, you know, what you know, and, and I, I, I'm a believer of the most high. We are. They didn't, they didn't put that name upon to spit in shame. We can't be lukewarm in the name of Jesus. Be here. Either you're going to be out or either we're going to be in. We were there at one point. I was there too. Big Hennessy, big blowing, hitting the pokey, going up, smoking weed, fornicating. You feel me? Mistreating my girl. I did all that. That's why the consequences of wages for the consequences of sin is death. For the wages of sin is death. That's going to be. What is a wage? A pay. And then we're going to be cynical about it. And then try to play the victim role. Why did God allow this? Were we living right? Why did God took away the loved ones from our life? Were they living right? We don't know how the Lord. Sometimes things happen. We don't know we're not God. And you're going to let and be drowning on your own misery and resentment because people hurt you. And it be like that. We all get like that. But we have to arise that. We have to get above that and forgive ourselves and forgive the one that hurted us. See, we can forgive, but we will never forget. You feel me? Because if we don't make amends, we're not going to make it to the kingdom straight up on the rail. So you keep playing games, go big Hennessy champagne bottles, keep blowing and all that. And at the end of the day, when you leave this earth, we're going to see who was right or who was wrong. When we get to see the Lord and say, depart from me, for I do not know you, you workers of iniquity. Depart from me. And what, what is going to be your defense? Every single day is being recorded by the angels in heaven and God knows everything that's what uh, that's why the kingdom is so small in heaven not everyone two-thirds of these people of uh, these people finna go to hell and if we ain't living right that goes to me too the pig the barbecue grill is ready and keep keep living the way you want to live ain't nobody here to to uh Rattle you what? Ain't nobody here to tell you what to do at the end of the day. We're going to have to carry our own cross. We're going to one day leave this earth on the rip. Ain't nothing in this world is promised to us. But death. You feel me? What? What? But death and eternal life. Whether we're going to whether we're going to spend eternal life is up to us. There's only two places after this, either heaven or hell. And that's just the way it is. Whether you believe in God or no, I'm not here to question your faith. At the end of the day, we're here to keep pressing this gospel and keep spitting the truth in Jesus name and live in the truth. Whether you choose that, uh, whether you're, you're Allah, your Buddha, for me, it's Jesus. He holds the keys 
to eternal life. Period. He is the son of God. Period. Not no Buddha, not no Allah, not no... See, the Quran, I'm not attacking it. We do have Muslim brothers here. But the Quran has one thing. It's a counterfeit of the Bible. The Quran has one thing that, I mean, excuse me. The Bible has one thing that the Quran never has. Prophecies. You feel me? And each single prophecy is already, 80% of the prophecies already already come physical. The Quran, Kursna, the book of Joe, so-called Joseph, co-leaders, the, uh, the phobic witnesses, all of them on the real. What is the Book of Mormon called like Joseph Smith and all of them? And, and, but you know what's the sad part about that? That they put in more work than the so-called body of Christ. They might be in falsehood, but you could at least respect the work, the work integrity that they have. That we, a lot of us lack in. I'm not going to say I, I try. You know, I try, I spread the gospel in Jesus' name, and we try to live it to my full potential. They're scared, a lot of them. Why? Because they're not ready to take the long suffering. They're not ready to uh, be looked on like we're crazy, like we're weird, like we're strange. See, a lot of people, brothers and sisters, they look at us like exotic fishes on a boat because we're really consecrated. We really are about this walk. You feel me? In Jesus' name. That's why I love this work. And I'm not going to stop. If I if I got to be on the street, so what? I've been in prison. Ain't, ain't nothing scared me. I've been in mental institutions. I, we been, we been out of hell and back. That's what they do to a lot of the real ones. They think that we're crazy. They try to put us under medication. Talking about we got ACAD. No, the devil's a lie. We just know too much. We just been consecrated and been sealed by the mark of the most high. By the by, by the God of Abraham, Jacob, and Isaac. In Jesus' name. That the enemy tried to destroy us and get us out the way. As, as children. He'll try to destroy you. If he can in the embryo, because he knows that you're anointed, brothers and sisters. He knows that we are a threat to the kingdom forces of the power of B. The devil's a lie. He knows your value in the kingdom. Brothers and sisters, you are an important person to the Lord and to the whole universe. How, and, and I don't mean it when I say universe, Jesus universe, God's universe, to snatch souls for the kingdom of Jesus in Jesus name. And that's why these witches, these haters, these warlocks come so hard on us, on our daily lives. A lot of us are, are, are have, have, we are under demonic espionage in the name of Jesus and the devil's a lie in Jesus name. May, and we're going to pray real quick, brothers and sisters. May the Lord watch over our homes. May he put guardian angels in the name of Jesus to order all the real the real ones that are really about to swap any demonic espionage, any any um monitoring spirit, anyone that try to put witchcraft on us in Jesus' name, let him be fire and ricochet back into the pits of hell in Jesus' name. May the God Almighty, the God of Abraham and Jacob and Isaac protect us in the name of Jesus. That's why the enemy will try to see the renewal of, of the mind is the beginning of salvation. We got to constantly renew our mind. We got to stay in joy. Now we're going to read. We're going to start reading. Uh, let me get some water, my brothers, real quick. Yeah, my brothers. So. 
we got to, uh, we're going to uh, read off the book of Matthew 25 and down. Matthew 26 and down it says, Then Judas which betray him answer and said, Master, is it I? He said unto him, Thou, thou, thou hast say it. Let me go back to 24. Let me, let, 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 as a matter of fact, let me go, uh, let me go to 17, title heading, Jesus eats his last meal with his 12 disciples. That's all, Matthew 26, 12, 17 and down. It says, now, the first day of the feast of unleavened bread, the disciples came to Jesus, saying unto him, where, where will thou we prepare for to eat the Passover? And he said, Go into the city to such a man and say unto him, The master said, My time is at hand. I will keep the Passover at thy house with my disciples. And the disciples did, and the disciples did as Jesus had appointed them, and they made ready the Passover. Now, when the now when the even was come, he sat down with the twelve. And as they ate, he said, Verily I say unto you, that one of you shall betray me. And they were exceedingly sorrowful, and began every one of them to say unto him, Lord, is it I? So they started like, hey man, is it me? Is it Samuel? Is it the homegirl? Is it the homie? They was like, man, who? Who could it be? You feel me? Now let me keep going down. Then Judas, which betrayed him, answered and said, Master, is it I? He said unto him, Thou hast said, Thou hast said. And as they were eating, Jesus took bread and blessed it and break it and gave it to the disciple and says, Take it. This is my body. Now, let me stop right there on 25. A lot of them. A lot of us, um, and this was, was the, one of the brothers was saying yesterday when I went to the temple. How many of us tried to look at Judas like he, he was wrong for what he did? There is no question. But how many of us have been in that Judas position unto the Lord and act the same way as Judas by leaving, living a lukewarm life? Doing whatever the heck we want, go sit, go fornicate, go do our thing, and then come back and be like this. I'm sorry, Lord. We all done it. You feel me? How many, how many of us really been in that Judas position and act just like Judas with the same characters of betrayal and a betrayal unto the Lord? And we just be acting just like Judas at times. Want to do whatever we want. Do what we do. Go smoke. Go drink. And then go over there like nothing happened. And then go live a foul lifestyle that does not resemble Jesus. And then as soon as we turn around. Go to church like it's Reese's. Go to church like we at Starbucks, sipping coffee. And go, as soon as you go right out of your house, go talk about another person. Go beat your woman. Go be your wife. And then, and then go like this. Oh, man, it was a, uh, it was a good sermon, though. <laughs> and then with a the Henny bottle like this. And then, and then go out. And then go over there and go like this. I know it was the blood for me. And then go right back out of church, like all full of emotions, like uh, 48, like 24 hours later. Or like probably 13 hours later. Or in some cases, like three minutes later. You feel me? As soon as you step out of the church, boom, go right to the ashtray. Or go hit the pookie. Hey, 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 to ease their own. But how many of us are bent in Judas's positions? We all have. 
You feel me? I know what Ju Judas would what what did was wrong, but also how what we have been doing it be wrong too. On the real, he we be hella foul to the Lord. Oh Lord, I promise you, I'm gonna stop uh, smoking weed, Lord. I, I promise you, I ain't gonna do this. I promise you this and that and the third. I've done it. I've done it. You know what I'm saying? So, but you know what? One thing, brothers and sisters, like the devil's a lie. You feel me? We're here to take this up to hit because what transforms you is the conviction. That's what's going to save us to make it to the kingdom. People don't like it when it starts piercing our soul. That's what the word is a double edged sword. And it's like it, it, it's sharper than bow and marrow. You feel me? If you're going to the church and they're over here just pre preaching daycare. Uh, they, see, they don't want to really preach these things at the church like that. Why? Because they're so worried about musical chairs in the church. They're so worried about people leaving the seats and they're not really up to what the Lord takes heed and the Holy Spirit receives inside our souls to make it to see and be saved. And don't forsage our Lord and betray our Lord. They're preaching so many faith little uh uh motivational messages no they just want to uh they just want to put a little bit of water and a little bit of truth just enough a little bit of stink no brother i'd rather for somebody to tell me the truth that i'm gonna make it to the kingdom as much as it could hurt glory to god you feel me i need that holy that holy spirit peroxide to gash me on my open wound because that's going to help me seek the Lord right. Not anyone, not everyone and anyone could just put our hands and pray for us. No, because they're the same ones that are living foul and are living wicked. You feel me? So we have to be very careful. We have to really don't really, really, brothers and sisters, play church. Play Reese's. Truth over sweet. Yes. Now, remember what one of the brothers said? Everything that glitter ain't gold? No. Some people claim to have the anointings and and and, and, and um and, and it's just like they put baby oil and seem like they really are pure in their own eyes. You feel me? But they really believe and they really live a deceptive, double confused life. Miserable. Vomit. They're like a dog that vomit and eat their own vomit. They're like a pig that as soon as you clean them, it's going to go right back to the filth and right back to the dirt. Now we're going to keep reading. As they were eating, Jesus took bread. And blessed it and break it and gave it to the disciple and says, take, eat. This is my body. Right. And he took the cup and gave thanks and give it to them, saying, drink ye all of it. For this is my blood of the New Testament, which is shed for many for the remission of sins. But I say unto you. I will not drink henceforward of the fruit of the vine until that day when I drink it new with you in my father's kingdom. Ooh. In my in my father. Ooh, that is so deep. But I say unto you, I will not drink it henceforward of the fruit of the vine. He's waiting for us to drink it with us. You feel me? So now we're going to go. And when they had sunk in him, they went out into the Mount of Olives. But you know how, how humble the Lord was? He didn't even expose who betrayed him at that time. That's how real G God is. 
a lot of us, a, a lot of us betray the Lord in some type of form. But we're making strong attempts as we draw in closer to the Lord. You feel me? How many of us, brothers and sisters, have betrayed you because you chose to walk with Jesus? So be prepared. Just like they betray our master, they're going to betray us. So don't be uh, too naive. If and it be, we be like that. I include myself. When people start walking away from your life, glory to God, count it a blessing. Amen. That means that he wasn't supposed to be, and it could have he or she could have been a potential rock in my way. Look at it uh, as much as it, it hurts, it does hurt. It hurts. A lot of us uh, have a, a, a narrow road and a lonely road to carry. It be like that. It's a lot of the anointings go through a lot of consecration period for long times. Because we have a very, see, when we're alone for a consecration phase, we're on our, our preparation phase. And the Lord is gonna uh, uh, the Lord is gonna keep moving our trash in us first and around us. And the Lord as your uh, as your spirit and the gifts the Lord giving you become more clearer to us. You're gonna just automatically start st stop seeking the people that you thought were right with the Lord. Just like whatever. Like I'm not nowhere to judge you. You know, I'm not, I'm just going to stay myself away from you and think that I'm crazy and go gossip. So what? I'm just going to keep you from a 10 feet pole and I'm going to keep glorifying the Lord. At the end of the day, I'm not no one to, to judge you. I'm not, tr I'm not putting you down, but I'm going to have a judgmental discernment for my own salvation's protection. We just can't be around people, uh, around just anyone, saints. You have to embellish your own solitude. You feel me? We have to be careful to be, because isolation could also be hurtful. If we're not productive within the body of Christ, I do go to church, but isolation is dangerous. Why? Could it be dangerous for too long? Because there's going to be moments where we're in battle and we're going to feel down. We're going to uh, be going through it. But you know one thing? Rejoice. Rejoice in that. In Jesus' name. Because you are, when, when you go through what you, and, and, the, and, and the trials get more and more, it's because you're seeking the Lord and because you are, the enemy is in panic. He's like, man, I need to go send uh, and, and and know that for every guardian angel, we new levels, new devils. We know that. I'm pretty sure you guys heard of that saying. New levels, new devils. Not only is new new levels within the Lord, but you're unlocking gifts. We are unlocking gifts that we we had, but we never knew that were dormant. And all the gifts the Lord giving you is becoming clearer. We got like that Peter Park, that Peter Parker senses. You feel me? It's it's like we're like Goku in the faith. Like or like oh oh he's fake. You're cool. She's cool. He's trash. Be careful. The Lord is telling you. Oh, watch him. Watch him. Oh oh. I, we see. We could see the spirits that people carry. With much knowledge comes great grief, brothers and sisters. The more that you, the more that we intertwine with the Abba Father, the more it hurts. Because we, excuse me, I'm about to sneeze. Oh, hopefully, uh, hopefully it'll go away. Excuse me, all oh, it's coming. Give me a more. <laughs> excuse me. Yeah. Um. See, that's why with much knowledge comes great grief, because the Lord. The Lord will reveal us, brothers and sisters, what what people think. We it's like we could feel their spirit. We could know when people are lying to us. We could know when people are just full of cap and really ain't have no love. That's a gift 
Does that give hurts? Yes, it does. You feel me? That, how you doing? That give that give hurts, brothers and sisters, because as it's developing more like we could hear in the spirit. We can even hear what what they really almost think of us, brothers and sisters. I'm like, wow. But it hurts, you know? But it, it will help you and it will keep your salvation at ease and guard. Now let me keep reading. Jesus said unto him, Verily I say unto thee, that that this night before the cock crow, thou shalt deny me uh, thrice. And, and the the um it, it's uh, it says thrice, and this uh that's why I like the King James Version better. I gotta get it's a bilingual Bible I have. It says, Peter say unto him, Thou thou should die. I, thou I should die with thee. You will not deny thee. Likewise, also say all the all, all the apostles. Here we go again, my brothers. Hey, we're just like Peter too. How many times we deny the Lord? And just like Judas, how many times we betray the Lord by our disobedience? It be like that. You feel me? Now it says, then. It says Jesus prays in a garden called Gethsemane, Gethsemane, on the hills of Olives. Then come at Jesus with them unto a place called Jet Jet. Je I might be pronouncing it right, Gethsemane, and, and said unto his disciples, "Sit ye here. Would I go pray yonder an hour?" It says, Entonces Jesús le dijo en el lugar que se llama Gethsemaní, y dijo a sus discípulos, sentados aquí, en, aquí, y que yo allí, y oro. So Jesus wanted them to go into the garden where he go pray. He was like, man, it's about to be over. Like, I'm about, I'm about to get crucified. It's brothers, imagine, no, bro, imagine like you're going to death row, right? And I'm like, damn. Brothers, the pain, that small crown, being being lashed, and we cry, and we cry all over. Uh, oh man, she don't like me. He don't like me. My girl left me. It, it be like that. We all do. But just imagine knowing that you're about to go on the cross for me and you. I couldn't do it. That's why we're not Jesus. For a sinner like me, for connivers. And two-faced, evil, coilless, vitamins generation, I couldn't do it. You feel me? But, hey, that's what we're not Jesus. You feel me? Now, it says, so he's at the death row, right? And he already had his last supper. He's like, man, I got to go pray this out. You feel me? And, and remember what the Lord said? Can you please remove this cup of suffering? Like, I could just imagine the Lord like, bro, like, God, is there any other way? Like, please, is there any other way that, it, like, this could go down? Like, please don't let me go out like that. Just imagine, brothers and sisters, to go through that. On the day of the hour is coming. He knows that, that it's over. Now, look, now we're going to, um, but we, he had the victory. And, and, and one of the greatest, the great, the greatest men ever to ever do it. You feel me? Hey, hey, man, glory be to Jesus, man. Now we're going to go on to, uh, it says, And he took with him Peter and the two sons of Zebedee and began to be sorrowful and very heavy. He was already, look, brother, even Jesus felt heavy. That's how sometimes we, we we feel like that. We feel like Jesus at times, brothers, when we don't want to, we're like, Lord, I'm feeling heavy. I just want to come home already. We're not from this world anyway. Just imagine, Jesus felt heavy. Imagine, brothers and sisters, knowing you're about to get spit on, his face disfigured. They said that his face was unrecognizable. And, and the way they laugh at the Lord, brothers and sisters, when he was in pain, prophesy who slapped you now. 
where he was getting spit on, kicked on, lashed with pieces of chunk of meat coming out. That little small thorn put into your head. Just imagine, brothers and sisters, the level of pain that man took. That is heavy, brothers. That is heavy. So he was feeling already heavy. So don't get discouraged, brothers. Perform. We're going to feel like that. We're going to feel persecuted. Just, just He said this. For my name's sake, I will be persecuted. We'll be hated on by these two-faced divine snakes. You feel me? A lot of people are going to walk out of our lives from our family. Possibly. You feel me? Possibly your girl left you or whatever, or whatever the situation with. We got to understand that we're going to go through betrayal. It is what it is. You feel me? It says, 1 Peter chapter 1, verse 6, it says, And this rejoice through, through now for a little while, if necessary. Y'all been grieved by various trials. Be glad. Even though it can suck, be glad. Even though I'm saying that, be glad. Even though it could suck, it could suck. But be, be. It says in First Peter verse chapter one verse six. It said, "In this rejoice, though for a little while, if necessary, you've been grieved by various trials. Why you've been grieved by various trials? Because you really chose to follow Jesus, and it be like that." They're going to spit on you in your face just like Jesus in a metaphorically way of speaking. How are they going to spit in our face? By as soon as we walk around, they're going to go right back and go put our name right to spit on the ground and either lie, slander you or try to find any little speck to try to put your testimony down. But no one thing that if you are living in righteousness is finna backfire and the Lord will destroy them with health. You feel me? And, and, and the devil's a lie. You feel me? And now it says. Give me a moment, my brothers. Let, let, where is that beautiful scripture I was looking for? So now. It says, let all bitterness and wrath and anger and clamor and slander be put away from you along with all malice. That's Ephesians 4.31. Let all bitterness, brothers, sometimes we could be in bitterness in ourselves by the way uh, life took its course. And we put ourselves most of the time in that position. But, hey, like I say, it's who made you right now. That's why we love the Lord so much and we will never go back because of what the Lord got us out of. Haven't our life been better since we follow Jesus? And it's going to continue getting better in Jesus' name. So anyone or everyone out there who hasn't heard of the Lord, just let him in in Jesus' name. And he will heal you in Jesus' name. It's, it's this, you don't have to be like, oh, I'm going to do a sinner's prayer. Just let him in. And watch how our lives is going to keep getting better in Jesus' name. No, that persecution is going to come. It ain't going to be a, a, um, a, a, a ice, ice cream on a Sunday walk. No. You feel me? The ice cream finna melt, but you're going to be restored in Jesus' name. I will therefore that men pray without wrath and doubting. You feel me? So like, it, like it's, it's just a wonderful thing. Now, let me keep reading in Jesus' name. Let me put the phone over here. My little Metro PCS phone. But powerful unto the Lord. You know, and he, and he took... So like verse 37, Matthew 26, 37. And he took with him Peter and the two sons of Zebedee and began to, to be sorrowful and very heavy. 
he was feeling heavy. He started crying. He started going through it. He was like, man, Lord, I'm feeling, just imagine brothers, like I said, you're on death row. You're about to get ready to be brutally, savagely beat to the point where his face was unrecognizable. They say that they was pulling his beard out. And guess who killed him? It was his own kind. And it's always our own kind that will, that will slander you, hate you, even constantly try to plot against your life at times. You feel me? And it says, um, then he said unto them, my soul is exceedingly sorrowful even unto death. Tarry ye here and watch with me. Jesus saying this. Jesus is saying this. Then he said unto them, my soul is exceedingly sorrowful even unto death. Just imagine the level of heaviness he was feeling. Was he afraid? I, 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 I mean, he was very sorrowful that he said, I believe that he was afraid. He, he knew that he was going to do the will of the father, but obviously he was so sorrowful that he was heavily burdened. We could go back to, uh, to, to 37 to, to he was, he felt very he heavy and sorrowful. Now he said, and he went a little f further and fell on his face and prayed, saying, Oh, my father, if it be possible, if it be possible, please, Lord, is there, imagine you falling onto your face, like crying, though. They say that he cries so much that he started bleeding, brothers and sisters. He started bleeding tears just imagine, brothers, it's over. But he risen. Just imagine you sobbing so much. And it, it was administering angels, our Messiah, our Jesus. Angels had to come and minister unto the Lord. You feel me? Just imagine, brothers and sisters. So don't get discouraged when at times you're going to feel like you just want to come home. Jesus felt like this. Embrace that feeling. Just remember, like, remember, man, Jesus had to do this too. You feel me? And now, brothers and sisters, now we got this little pagan thing going on. Everybody about to go to church on Sunday, breaking the bread and the wine, which is the good symbolism is good. But as soon as they get out of there, 95% of them are going to go right back. A lot of these Catholics are doing their little fake, whatever they got going on, not eating no meat, but still do other foul, wicked things. Go beat on their wives. Go beat on their kids. It's cold, but they leave the same. Yeah, they leave the same. All of a sudden, you want to go into a church and get into that little pagan traditions of man, and your lifestyle is not with the Lord Jesus Christ. You feel me? But then you're going to want to be like, oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. The Red Bull gives you wing and all of that. Then as soon as you get out of church, do what you do. Go right back to a pig, living foul and wicked and conniving, like a Pharisee and a scribe. You feel me? Hey, hey but hey, we're, we're just, it's cool, but they leave the same. They leave empty, brothers and sisters. They just go by, oh, man. And, it's, and it's crazy. As soon as they get out of the church, what they going to go do? Go grab a Hennessy bottle, smoke some weed. Uh, and get into a uh, say one prayer and go right back like a pig and go practice all type of obscene wicked acts like the so-called real world do so-called you feel me um, you know ain't nothing real about this world you feel me
But now let me go back to uh, the word. Oh, let me get some water. One moment. When finding them asleep. Just imagine. Let's go to 39. That is crazy, bro. That's how we be, too. Let me go back to retract 39. And he went a little further. He left. They were already asleep. So he was like, dang, Lord. I, I'm going to have to go a little further. He was already like, can you please come? Uh, it's over. I'm about to go out this earth. You you feel me? It, it's a wrap. It, it's a wrap like an ancient mummy. I, I had to get on to, to the next. And, and he was like, let's go back. And he said unto them, my soul is exceedingly sorrowful even unto death. Tarry ye here. Tarry with me. Pray and watch with me. Please, it's, it's really over. You feel me? It, it was his last meal, bro. Sister, now he went a little further. And he fell on his face. While they were asleep, he was crying and praying, saying, Oh, my father, if it possible, let this cup pass from me. Nevertheless, not as I will, but that is thou will. You feel me? Like he was asking, Lord, is there another way? Please, Abba, I don't want to go out like that. I I'm cool, man. Like, come on, Lord. Come on. Come on, Father. Half God, half human. Like, is there any other way, Lord? I, I Don't let me go out like this. I don't want to get bruised up. I don't want to get spit on. I don't want to get... I don't want to get my face, get this figure where they can't recognize my face. Is there any other way? And he was like, and hey, look at Jesus, thy will be done. Can you please pray for me? Bro, bro and we, we act just like Peter and Judas. We turn the way and we fall asleep for five minutes worth of prayer and can't even really talk to the Lord because we let contemporary things of the world get the best of us. It's heavy, brothers. It happens to me. It happens to all of us, you know. And, and, and um, let's go back. And he cometh unto his disciple and finded them asleep and said unto Peter, What could ye not watch with me one hour? You can't even look out for me one hour. You can, I'm about to go on the cross for Samuel and for all of us. I'm about to get... I'm about to get brutally, savagely beat, laughed on, spit on. They're about to pull, me, kick me. They they about to make fun of me in the cross. They're about to they 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 used to hit him and punch him. Prophesy now, who hit you? Who punched you? His face was unrecognizable. And here we crying, us, us. Here we crying, us. When we get persecuted. When we get uh uh when people are trying to rise up against us in, in, in the in in the in the um at work or our family members, it be like that. We get discouraged, just like our Messiah was gonna get discouraged. Are we gonna feel heaviness? Yes. Are are is there gonna be times that we just wanna come home to the Father? Yes. But we have to understand that by his name we will get we will get persecuted. And I know it sucks. I know that a lot of people, a lot of us are, are, are in the consecration phase. And a lot of us are, are alone, brothers and sisters. And it be like that. But don't let, we have Jesus, brothers. Somebody got to take up the cross. And it's us. Now we're going to go back to... Uh, it says, watch and pray in a coma. How many of us fall asleep unto the Lord? And we'll be awakened to other things to watch the Super Bowl. We'll be awakened to other things of the world. Did they know that that was their last moments with him? As they would, would have fall asleep? Um, I, I believe that he... 
I believe that he it was they didn't know it was his last moment, but Jesus Jesus told them that one day he will have to leave. I, I believe that they didn't know, you know, because they didn't really they didn't really thought that he was gonna they they say like I, I, it's an interesting question. I believe that he wasn't brothers that they didn't know. But he 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 had to go through what he had to go through, my brothers. You know, like it says, did they know that their last moments with him? No, I believe that they didn't. That's just my opinion. If anyone has a uh, uh, somewhere where they can enlighten us in the chance we're here to learn, who didn't know? Who didn't know what? Oh, when he when he was about to go up to the cross. Why, why before he was crucified but he used to give them hints though that you know we we could go back to whether the temple be building in, in three days they was like how are you gonna build a temple that was 40 plus years and one day he was talking about his resurrection so he was already foreshadowing them but i believe they probably didn't get the the, the contents and the grasp of what jesus was saying so they uh, Jesus told them, but they probably did. he gave them hints. Remember, brothers and sisters, when um he was like, as you could see this temple falling, I will rebuild it in three days. He was talking about his resurrection. But they didn't really catch on because Jesus spoke in parables. Now we're gonna go back to uh he went away again the second time. Oh says Watch and pray that ye enter not into temptation. The spirit indeed is willing, but the flesh is weak. For real. And, and, and fasting, the spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. It's, it's, it's heavy, brothers. It, he, went again, he went away again the second time. It was another time. And pray, saying, oh, my father. If this cup may not pass away from me, except I drink it, that will be done. He's already, he's going a second time. Our Messiah, our Jesus, like, Lord, like, is there, like, please, Lord, like, I don't want to do this, Lord, but that will be done. I'm still going to do it. Like, he went away a second time and prayed, saying, oh, my father, just hear me out, Lord. Like, Abba, like, is there another way? It says, except I drink it, that will be done. And he came and found them asleep again. For their eyes were heavy, they were tired. I'm assuming that it was night already. It had to be night. They were sleeping. You know, they were tearing. And they fell asleep again. How many times we act like the disciples falling asleep? How many times we act like Judas to the Lord and turn our back on him? How many times we denied him like Peter? Thousands of times. As for me speaking, you know, and, 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 and it's, it is heavy, brothers. It says, then he came unto the disciples and said unto them, sleep on now. And take your rest. Behold, the hour is at hand, and the Son of Man is betrayed into the hands of sinners. But look at Jesus, though. Then he comes to his disciples and says to them, Sleep on now and take your rest. Like, talking, uh, uh, it says, Brother Samuel, the enemy was attacking me today. I felt a negative energy. Ooh that he was trying to latch on to me and it took me a lot of effort to pray and pray to effort to pray to pray and pray so we're gonna pray right now talking about god hey, hey i'm feeling that right now as we speak in jesus name as we speak in this message we're, we're gonna stop right here in jesus name because it is uh 
We're, Father God, in the name of Jesus, Father God, we come, be any spirit of heaviness, Father God, we rebuke the enemy in the name of Jesus, Father God. Any spirit of witchcraft or sorcery, we rebuke it in the name of Jesus, Father God. Hey, brothers and sisters and saints, hey, right now we pray in Jesus' name. Pray with us in Jesus' name for all of the saints that are doing this work. Father God, may you protect our dreams in the name of Jesus, Father God. No saint Saria or witchcraft will work against your children in the name of Jesus, Father God. Anything that might be in our food, Father God, that don't belong, Father God, in the name of Jesus, Father God, any poisonous, any heaviness, any food, any attack of the enemy, Father God, we rebuke it in the name of Jesus, Father God. We give you all the glory in Jesus' name. May you watch our house, Father God. Any monitoring spirits, Father God, put mighty warring angels in the name of Jesus at this moment, Father God. We come. We come fledged in full-fledged war with the God of Abraham, with the God of Jacob and Isaac in Jesus' name. Yes, in any spirit of heaviness, any spirit of worriness, any spirit, Father God, of double-mindedness and confusion, we rebuke it and send them to the pits of hell, Father God. May you put mighty angels to cover our dreams, Father God. Any latch, Father God, make it be the leverage of the Holy Spirit, them darts of heaven, Father God, backfiring at them in Jesus' name. Any demonic espionage, we cast it out in the name of Jesus. Any spirit of division inside the house, Father God, may you have them demons tie and bind in the name of Jesus, Father God, because there is power in the name of Jesus. It's the blood of Jesus, Father God. Through everything. We rebuke the enemy in the name of Jesus, Father God. When I have my life to, it says, when I have my life to Yeshua the Messiah, I had crazy dreams of of disguising sexual morality back to me. It, oh man, um, a lot of saints, we have to pray for our dreams. Right now we're at war. Right now wrath is coming, you know, so um, my brothers and sisters, Jesus died. I've been trying to go and, and subscribe to your channel, but I don't know how to, um, if you could please send it. You know, but um, yeah, my brothers, it's a, it, it's a lot of uh, war going on, and, and know that we're, we're 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 it's gonna it's gonna get hectic. But blessings are already here at the door. Wrath is coming for the wicked saints. So y'all make sure out there, y'all stay praying like y'all do, and stay seeking in the name of Jesus, man. On the real, like. Right now, I could feel uh, a, a very demonic energy in the devil's alive. Oh, yeah, I have left a comment in the community section with a link. So uh, I'm going to check that. Let me check that right now in Jesus name. As a matter of fact, and, 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 and right now, as we speak right here, I'm going to do it right here. Yeah, man, brothers and sisters, it's uh, the enemy is trying to rise up. But no one thing, my brothers and sisters, that wrath is coming on the rail. The eclipse, a lot of people say it's just the beginning of the seal. I changed my profile pic, so now you can see I'm a sister. Oh, oh I can't. Let me see my sis. Oh, the homegirl. My little homegirl in Christ. Let me see. Um, we're going to um, go right here in Jesus' name to the community. We're going to, uh, where it, it is. I don't know, brother. I don't know, my sister. I don't see it here. I don't know if, if you left the pen. Look. Oh, you can't you can't see that. 
I don't know where it could have been, my sister. I don't know why it won't let me subscribe to your channel. What's your channel name? Put it right there so I can search it right now. While I'm right here. Can you put it? Uh, Go to the uh, go to comments. All right, let me see. <clears throat> Give me a moment, brothers. I'm going to go to the comments. <clears throat> Let me see recent content. Oh, to the comments on, on my community. Let me let me check. Give me a moment, my sister. Is it Christina? This matches his hell for review. I don't know. It's crazy. The uh uh this it's a message that just says it's hell for review. I don't know. Is your name Christina by any chance? Yeah, I I don't know. I, I I'll see. I don't know if your message. Let's see. I got a comment. The prayer line. All right. All right. Let me see. Is it is your name Christina? I did. I I went to the comments. You can't you really can't see, but I'm gonna look. I don't know if your name's Christina, my sister. I'm gonna go to see. No, I can't find a home girl. Let me see. Uh, I really want to find a home girl. If you could put your the name of your channel right there, oh well, I don't know why they won't show show me. I sent her I sent her a comment. I don't, what's the name of your channel? Can you put it right there? So that way I could look it up right now on your on YouTube or post it on the comment again. Um, all the comments in the community and I'll probably be able to find you when you get a chance. Yeah, but let's go back to the word. It's called Jesus died for, for the sinners. My username. All right, I'm going to look, look at that up right now. Jesus died. For the sinners. Oh, oh the little homegirl. Is this you? Yeah. Is that the homegirl? That's you? Oh, <laughs> look at the homegirl. Hey, that's to be though. Hey, I just subscribed. Oh, man, that's the, the little homegirl. <laughs> hey, man, glory to God for my sister, man. That is awesome. 
Yeah, man. Yeah, man. But let's go back to the word. Now it says. Yay. Hey, man, you guys got to subscribe to the homegirl channel. We got to show support, saints. Anyone who's listening to subscribe to the homegirl. In Jesus' name, man, on the real. Oh, then, where, where did we leave? Uh, um, oh, yes. Verse 40. And he came to the disciple and find him asleep, said on, and, and find him asleep and said unto Peter, What could ye not watch with me one hour? Watch and pray that ye not enter not into temptation. The spirit indeed is willing, but the flesh is weak. Man, brothers and sisters, I'm telling you, the flesh be weak. Man, we need to really like try to fast. It, 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 this is one thing that one of the pastors used to say. If we don't pray, we'll break. If we don't read, we won't succeed. And if we don't fast, we won't break holds in Jesus' name. I'm reading off Matthew 26, 42, my sister. Uh, verse 42. And he came and found them asleep again, for their eyes were heavy. Look how Jesus was humble, though. So he, he came. I'm going to skip to uh, where he, he came to pray unto the Lord the second time. It says, and he and while he spake, it says, oh, let me go. Uh, sorry to digress because I was digressing. And it kind of like threw the balance of the rhythm in Jesus name. And he went, oh, give me a moment. And he came and found them asleep again for their eyes were heavy. And he left them and went away and prayed the third time saying the same words. Wow. So now we're, he came on to him three times begging, asking the Lord, please, Lord, is there another way? You feel me? He was that heavy. He was like, I wonder, I bet you he was like, man, I'm, I'm going to try to convince my father, man. I'm really about to go on the cross for me and you. You feel me? And now we go. Here we go. Rise, let us be going. It says, and then he came unto the disciple and they would sleep again. And while he spake, lo, I'm on verse 47. Excuse me. Ver oh, no, verse 44. Sorry about that. And he left them and went away again and prayed the third time, saying the same words. Then cometh he to his disciple and said unto them, Sleep on now and take your rest. Behold, the hour is at hand, and the Son of Man is betrayed to the hands of sinners. Wow. Rise, let us be going. Behold, he is at hand that thou betrayed me. While he yet spake, lo, Judas, one of the twelve, came, and with him a great multitude with words and, and staves from the chief priests and elders of the people. Now there were elders. Now he that betrayed him gave them a sign, saying, Whomsoever I should kiss, the same as he, hold him fast. It always be, brothers and sisters, Jesus taught me love and loyalty. He didn't want to die. Amen. Hey, it's always our own people. It's That's why we have to be very careful, brothers and sisters. It's always our own people that wish dirt upon us. They hate, not all of them. But they hate your anointings. They hate your resilience. They admire. See, they're haters, but they're uh, fanatic spectators. They just want to see you fall. But the Lord will never allow us to fall. We come so in love with the Lord that we will never go back to the world in Jesus' name. It's always the swans, the snakes, the vipers. Of our own kind, our own people, and the so called ministers all up in the church. <laughs> Hallelujah! Praise the Lord, speaking in tongues, but living wicked, foul, and conniving 
in Jesus name. You feel me? In this walk, we know that it's going to feel heavy. And, and my sisters and my brother, the love is not a feeling. Yes. The love is a relationship with the Lord. It's a respect, brother. It's not a feeling. Because it says today I wanted to quit and said to myself, girl, where are you going to go? Hey, man, hey, be like that, home girl. Hey, man, hey, hey, but you're see that, hey, I, I bet there is so, hey, you ain't going, it ain't going to be the last time, sister, you're going to feel like that. You know, and then the Lord like, man, you better get your butt back up and be like that. Jesus felt like not going through on the cross. It's going to be times where you're just going to have that cross. You're going to be like, like this, down goes Frazier. Hey, but hey, you know, to that one, hey, but glory to God, my sister, that and my brothers, that you're still here. You're Wonder Woman in faith, sisters, young gunners out there. We're warriors. We got our queens and our kings. We come from royal priesthood. And this royalty that we have, it comes with a high price. That not a lot of willing, a lot of people are willing to take persecution, being laughed at, being called crazy, weird, all of that. So we have to be very careful, my sisters, who we be around. The same ones that are flatterers, charlatans are the ones that are devising and trying to plot against us. So. We just got to just move with the Holy Spirit. That's it, brothers and sisters. My question is, my question is, do we really love Jesus or do we just have a crush on him? So we just come, we, we, we just got to look at Judas and look at Peter. At times, we going to be turning the back on, on the Lord and we have done it in some type of form, but we're here. We got to keep fighting forward. We got to keep sprinting forward. I pray for a breakthrough. You're going to get it, sister. You, you're going to get it. You, um, right now, you're going through a lot of war because you're about to level up. You already, you, you already, very, a lot of us is leveling up. This is the season of elevation. And, and um, uh, your gifts are going to get getting better. And, and we know that it's going to hurt. It hurts for what you know, sister and brothers. We're gifted. We can hear in the spirit. And Jesus was sharing this with me. That a lot of these churches today, I was meditating on that. Man, a lot of these churches are like a racist. They're, they got their little groups. They're clustering hypes. Some will want to be the cool ministers, the cool kids. They think they hire super anointings and thou, holier than thou. You feel me? I love Jesus this time I do. Yes, I, I know you do. You feel me? Look at the homegirl. You have a beautiful ministry. We we all do. Glory to God, my sister. Hey, hi. What's up with Mikey Loke? What's up with Mikey in the house? What's up with the king, man, in Jesus' name? Hey, yeah, my brothers, it's elevation time, man. You know, but the same ones that kiss up right on the cheek at church or flatter are the same ones sinisterly, sinister, sinisterly trying to seek your destruction. But the Lord ain't allowing that. We're elevating in the Lord. And the higher the persecution, the bigger the reward. You feel me? So now we're now I'll go back to first Peter verse six. I, I rejoice though for a little while if necessary. You have been grieved by various trials. Hi, old McDonald. Hi, old McDonald's sanctified. Praising Jesus Christ. You know, so yeah, man. Where was that beautiful scripture that? Oh, yeah. So now, let me keep reading this word. 
Then said Jesus unto him, Put again thy sword. And behold, let me go to 51. And Jesus said unto him, Friend, where art thou? Where art thou come? Then, then came them and laid hands on Jesus and took him. And behold, one of them which were Jesus stretched out his hand and drew his sword and struck a servant of the high priest and smote off his ear and said Jesus unto him, put again thy sword in into this place for all that they take the sword shall perish with the sword. We know that our weapons are not carnal. We know that our weapons are our love, peace, long suffering, and temperance, and so forth. Now we go, but now, but how then shall the scriptures be filled that thus it must be? In the same hour, Jesus said to the multitudes, Are ye come out against a thief with swords and staves to, for, for to take me? I said daily were you teaching in the temple, and ye lay no hold on me? See, a lot of people that came and seek the Lord were right there. He probably healed some of them. And they were right there. Jesus was teaching the word, and they were the same ones, not all of them, that device against the Lord. It's always our own kind. And they that had laid hold on Jesus, laid him away to Caiaphas, Caiaphas, the high priest, where the scribes and the elders were assembled. But Peter followed him afar off unto the high priest's palace and went in and sat with the servants to see the end. Now the chief priests and elders and all the council sought false witness against Jesus to put him to death. False witnesses, bro, sisters. Fakesters. They didn't have nothing. It says Jesus said heal the guy's ear. He could yes without an ear on. Yeah, he did. For real. He really Jesus put his ear back. Hey, Jesus busted an operation on him. You're like, man, we're gonna have to heal the homie. You know? Now now we go here. Now 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 we go here. But it says, but found none ye that though many false witnesses came yet, found they none. At least came two false witnesses. They had no witnesses, nothing against the Lord. Always our own people. Slandering, charlatan, to devise against the Lord. But Jesus said, Held his peace, and the high priest answered and said unto him, I adjure thee by the living God, that thou tellest where thou be the Christ, the Son of God. Jesus came unto him, Thou hast said, Nevertheless, I say unto you, Where should ye see the Son of Man sitting on the right hand of power and coming into the clouds of heaven? Now, we're going to go, and we'll all look. Uh, we're gonna keep reading this. I'm a little tired. Let me keep let we're gonna finish this in Jesus' name. Let me get some water. Y'all wanna see the ghetto ness? Look at this. Look at my little water thing. With the coffee. My little board. Excuse me. My little board for the studies. That's all, uh, all us kings and queens from the most high. Our crown's finna get, look, our board. My little water thing. Yes, man. Oh, man. Let me get it in, bro, brothers. Oh, we're gonna finish this. Let me put my Metro PCS phone right back in here. Yes, we're back. We're back. Y'all gonna read the book of... Oh, oh man, I, I'm gonna read the book of Colossians. 
Man, it's crazy because I just I I just did a rap on Colossians three twenty three. Um, you could check it out, my sister and my brothers. Colossians is a great book. You know, it, it has a lot of pebbles. You know, now I, and, and the homie inspired me off Colossians three twenty three. Oh, McDonald, Charlie, my brother Charlie inspired me. I have to write a Colossians three twenty three rap. You know, now we're going to keep reading. It says, Thou the highest, it says, Jesus said unto him, uh, uh, Then, uh, 65, sorry about that, my brother. Then the high priest ran his clothes, saying, He has spoken blasphemy. What father need have we of witness? Behold, now ye have heard his blasphemy. What think ye? They answered and said, he is guilty of death. Then they spit in his face and buffeted him. And others smote him with the palms of their hands. Imagine being slapped like that. Oh, my gosh. Man, I'll probably be punching him out. That's why we're not Jesus, you know? Now, now, now saying prophesy unto us. Prophesy unto us, thou sire of Christ, who, who is see that small thee? Now Peter said without, it said Peter says he did not, Peter says three times that he does not know Jesus. Oh, we're almost done. Now Peter said without in the palace and a damsel came unto him saying, saying, Thou was with Jesus of Galilee, but he denied before them all, saying, I do not know what thou sayest. How many times we deny the Lord in some type of form? And that's what the Lord was sharing with me today, my brothers and, and, and sisters. We're going to stop right there. So the Lord was getting at me like that today when I was at work. You know, I work construction for the moment for a church, but you know what? I'm happy and my living is going to keep getting better. And um, Jesus was sharing with that. Like, like a lot of these churches are like racist. Like, you know, that some of the ministers want to compete with other ministers and, and they're playing musical chairs and they want to grab their little groups and cook up. And, and we got to be better than that, brothers. We're here to really try to uh, and try to sharpen each other and that's what this channel is about my brothers and sisters to really be there for us how how let, let's reminisce on which what we just read how many times jesus felt heavy you know so don't get don't get don't beat yourself up when you get sad when you get lonely when when you get whatever when you just tired to give up you're not going to give up. We're, that's out. But there's going to be moments where you're going to just want to give up. But the Lord is going to always push you out. Y'all should all inspire each other. Yes, that's what we're here for, brothers. No matter whether we're black, Mexican, Hispanic, whatever, yellow, purple, doesn't matter. We all bleed red. The body, the blood of Christ. And I love you guys, man. So let's just be more aware, man. Let all bitterness and wrath and anger and clamor and slander be put away from you, along with all malice. That's Ephesians 4.31. And sadly, that is a lot of things that go on in the church. And we have to go against the grain and speak the true gospel of Jesus Christ, of righteousness repentance and love and that's what all i have to share my brothers tomorrow we'll see each other again god willing and make sure that we just stay seeking and i love you guys and i'll see you guys soon may the lord watch over us and you already know from the ghetto to the street to the kingdom in jesus name amen Woo!